Hey guys, Jordan here, and in this video I'm gonna be responding to a comment I recently got, so let's get into it. All right, so on my channel, I talk about real estate photography. So if that's a topic you're interested in, make sure to subscribe. In this video, I'm gonna be responding to a comment and that was on uh, the survey that I put out earlier last week. Thank you all, all for all those that responded, but I was just trying to figure out uh, what uh, camera brand was most popular out there. But anyways, uh, it was a survey. Uh, what camera brand do you use for real estate photography? You can check out that post um, on the community section, but uh, Yana K says, is the Sony really that good? Was thinking about getting a Nikon Z5 myself, but still unsure. You know, honestly, I think uh, obviously based on, on the survey, Sony is the most popular winning about 50% of the vote. And then um, kind of after that split between Canon and Nikon, but I have all three, right? I have, let me grab them. All right, so these are the daily setups that I use. Uh, this one right here is the EOS R by Canon, uh, 14 to 35. I think it's called the RF lens. Uh, like, I really do like this camera. Uh, this is, you, you mentioned the Z5. This one is, I believe the Z6, and it has the 14 to 30 millimeter uh, lens on it. And then the Sony, this is the one that we currently shoot with in the field, um, the A7 IV but I also have the A1, the A7S III, and plenty other Sony cameras. So I'm primarily a Sony shooter, but I like to test different ones and using all three of these, I think, you know, they each have their pros and cons. I would say Sony is probably the best overall. They have a lot of good um, lens uh, options now. Really like this new power zoom and it does great uh, focusing with video and the photos themselves look great as well. But honestly, like the difference between the Sony and these ones aren't that drastic. I think, um, you know, the menu system, I think you have a lot more menu options and whatnot with the Nikon, which I th find nice as a more techie um, person. I, th I think the lens is a little weird. It like locks over here, but um, I, uh, from a quality perspective, the Nikon's really great. I think, I do believe, I think they manufacture with the uh, Sony sensors, if I'm not mistaken. And then the Canon, this is probably one of my favorite lenses for real estate photography, the 14 to 35. I like the focal length. Uh, Sony does 16 to 35, but I like that extra little bit width for real estate. And I think, um, you know, Canon, Canon does do, you know, it is great as well. Um, I, I would probably say that Nikon and Sony have a little bit better, um, I guess less noise in the shadows, which is something that I look at. Um, details in the highlights. I mean, I, I would give the slight edge to the Sony, but honestly, they're all about 90% the same. You're gonna be, at the end of the day, what matters is quality to your customers. I think you can get great value out of picking up a used Canon or a used Nikon, and I think you'll be perfectly happy with it. Um, so anyways, there are a lot of options. I think somebody else also mentioned Fujifilm, which I'm not familiar with. I don't shoot or I haven't shot with Fujifilm for real estate photography, but uh, maybe in, in the future. So yeah, I do think the Z5 or Z6 um, is a great value. I, I do, the, there are certain things about shooting real estate photography with it that I do like. Um, there are a, a, f a few more flash options in camera and stuff like that, but anyways. That's it, that, that, those are my thoughts. So yeah, go out, get the Nikon if you uh, feel it's uh, what your heart is calling for, I guess. But anyways, uh, that's it for this video. If you got value, hit the like button and we'll see you guys on the next one.